Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wacky Wednesday. I've had to move my studio because uh, my bedroom, bedroom has been shifted around. So we're going to try this new position in the lounge and see how it goes. Um, I hope you're all well and uh, feeling good after Monday's very nice, relaxed class and ready for today's slightly more upbeat, slightly more work and effort. But um, it's July, so let's crack. Uh, two months from summer. <laughs> How's that for optimistic? <laughs> so we're working towards the sun. Good. Let us begin. Okay. Uh, cement floors. Right. Standing feet hip width apart. We're going to first start with some nice deep breathing exercises. So deep breath in, arms overhead as you breathe in. And then just stretch your right arm, left arm. Stretch your whole right side, left side. Right side and left side. Bring the arms down. Ready for another deep breath in. As deep as you can. And then exhaling. One, two, and three. Bring those arms around for the last nice deep breath in. And exhaling. One, two, and three. And bring those arms down. Nice. Alright, we're going to take the arms in a nice big circle. Three forward, three back. Breathing in, exhaling, 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 let's just do one more, and exhaling, and changing direction, bring those arms behind you, and exhaling, in breath, out, out, and one more, and exhale, good, alright, take the feet slightly wider apart, Arms outstretched, press the palms forward, um, away from you, pull the fingers back, and we're going to just slightly go over the midline with the rib cage, stretching from side to side. So it's right, left, right, left. Gently in the beginning because our body is still a little cold and sticky. Let's do five, four, three, keep lengthening up that spine, two, and one, shoulders down and release. Oh, that actually worked the forearms quite a bit. Okay, getting there. Oh, my dog's just had a big sigh. Arms behind the back, putting the shoulders back. And releasing. Good. Arms overhead again. I'm going to hook the fingers together. I'm going to turn them away. Press them up to the ceiling. And pull straightly on those fingers, pressing the palms like that. Good, and release. Nice, I'm going to actually move this camera up just a little bit while I'm doing the standing work. There we go, and I'll move it down. Oh, anyone got a, a, a good camera out there? Alright, so I've got my hands overhead, palms pressing up towards the ceiling, and I'm gently using the pressure to pull my fingers a bit. Alright, ready? One, and two, good flexion on those fingers, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, and shake those out. All right. Wow, that really pulled on the fingers. Okay, so feet up with the part, we're on to your toe raises. We're going to do eight and then we're going to move into different formations of that. So lifting up, make sure that when you go up into your toes, go as high as you can. If you need a chair for balance, go ahead and grab one. And as you press those heels down, keep them pushing out to the midline, keeping the feet parallel and not allowing them to slip into the midline, turning the knees outward. You want those knees to stay pressing forward. Ready? And up on the toes and down. Two. Keep the shoulders open, chin down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Go ahead and stay up there now. Stay up. Bend at the knees. Now watch that those knees stay parallel, that they don't knock or open. Now press those heels down. You'll feel the tension in the calf muscles. Try not to lean forward when you're doing this. Try and stay upright with the body. And now straighten the legs. Okay. So going up onto the toes. Keeping the balance. <laughs> Bend at the knees. Press those heels down. And stand up. Really focus on keeping as much alignment in this position as possible. 
Number two, up onto the toes, bend at the knees, heels down, watch the alignments and standing. Three, elevate, bend, press those heels down and up. Keep the tummy muscles slightly engaged, bend at the knees, tightening up the glutes, push the heels down and standing. Four, bend, heels down and stand. Five, we're trying to get the alignment, uh, encouraging lifting of the foot arch and the alignment through to lower back. Whoopsie, let's concentrate. Let's do six again. Bend at the knees, keep the balance. <laughs> Press the heels down and stand. Seven, bend, heels and up. And eight, bend, Press the heels down and stand. Nice. Check it out. We're going to change direction now. <coughs> I always think of it slightly as a Michael Jackson exercise. So feet hip width apart, parallel again. Lengthen up the spine, scoop in the tummy muscles, keep the shoulders open. Okay? Now bend at the knees. Bend as far as you can, keeping the alignment. Okay, so we're not going to bend them so the body goes forward. Keep upright and bend as far as those knees will allow, keeping the heels on the ground. Okay, keep that chin level. Now you're going to peel the heels off the ground, but you're going to keep your hips at one level. So you're not going to go up like this. You're going to keep that upper body steady, and you're going to just press knees forward. See my Michael Jackson move, yeah? And then straighten up. Oh, I can't believe I just said yeah. I get that from my son. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, bend the knees. Keep the parallel. Peel the heels off, pushing the, the knees forward, lengthen up the legs, and heels down. Number two, bend, and really press into those knees, uh, stretching the calf. Peel the heels up, lengthen up the body, and heels down. Three, bend, peel, lengthen, and down. Four, peel, oops, peel, lengthen, and down. Do as I say, not as I do. Five. Peel, lengthen, and down. Six. Peel, lengthen, and down. Seven. Peel, keep those tummy muscles in, and down. Last one. Eight. Peel, lengthen up, and drop the heels down. And shake it out. Nice. I can feel that work on my sole of my feet. I can really feel my toes have worked hard. So we're going to go ahead and just fold the to toes over. So you're going to lift the foot, tuck the toes under the foot, and put some gentle pressure on the top of the foot, curling the toes under. Just gentle, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> for some, this is an excruciating position. I've been here for a while now, so my toes have got a little bit more give. So just go gently. Nice stretching of the tendons on the top of the foot. Good, and change sides. Left foot, toes tucked under, gentle pressure on. And let's go back to that right foot. So what I want you to do is just roll from side to side, so to the pinky to the big toe, okay? Using the heel to kind of swivel the foot, rotating the foot back and forth, getting those toes to tuck, and over to the left foot, and roll it. Good. All right. That's a flexi foot if I ever saw one. Okay, we're going to take that right heel forward and tap. Okay? And what I want you to do is watch that the left leg when it comes when it bends, because you're gonna have to bend to get that right leg forward. I'll take it to the side. Okay? You want to get a nice extension on that right foot and the left knee's gonna bend. I'm not stepping, I'm not lowering the body. Okay, so keep the body nice and straight, centered over the pelvis and bring that right heel forward and bring it back. Push that left knee forward and watch that that left knee doesn't conk in and doesn't slide out. To, you're not going to bow like a chicken on me. Okay. <sighs> Breathlessness. Ready? We're going to do eight and eight and up. Seven. Tummy muscles in, shoulders open. Six. Five. Four. Two and one, changing sides, left foot forward, 
drop that heel, push that heel away too. And you might find that on one side your hips want to swivel. Try and keep as centered as possible. Five, six, seven, tap that heel down. Eight, changing sides, getting warm. One, and up. Two, three. This is great for the knees. Five, six, body upright. Seven, keep those shoulders at back. Left leg, one and up. Two, concentrate on pushing that knee forward. Four, I can't believe I'm breathless. <laughs> Five, six, seven, whoops, I'm leaning forward, don't lean forward. Changing for the last set, right leg, one, and now your body's going to start looking for the easy way out. Chin lifts, knee folds, so hold it together, five, and back, six, seven, eight, and last side, left leg, one, two, knee going forward, shoulders open, three, four, five, whew, six, don't lean forward, see how I did, seven, and eight, whew, and shake it out, very nice, I'm going to catch my breath here, <laughs> right, I want your legs nice and wide now, so take them about 10 centimeters on either side of the, the outside of the mat, I'm going to take the arms out sideways, and you're going to take the right hand over to the left foot for that cross bend, dropping the left arm on the back, crossing over to the left side. Now when you do this, I want you to try and make sure that your hip doesn't shift so you don't drop one side of the pelvis. Keep those hips square and use the upper body to go across. Okay, so we're not going to be allowing the whole body to shift. Keep that pelvis stable, bring the upper body across and drop down. And what you can do is put some pressure on that right hip towards the left side so that you don't drop into that pelvis on the left on the right side. Alright, so right hand to left leg, pressure on the right hip, head relaxed and hanging. And just hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Whew. Come up slowly if you get vertigo, okay, because you're hanging upside down for a while. Just make sure that your feet are parallel, that they haven't turned out when you're doing this exercise, okay? So keep those feet facing forward, parallel on the outside of the foot. Again, now we're going with the right, the left arm to the right hip, so we don't want this hip to drop in. So we're going to keep that pressure pushing towards the right, um, with the pelvis, push the pelvis slightly to the right. <coughs> Ready? Breathe in and dropping down. Keep that pressure on the on the hip and drop that left arm, the right arm behind the back. And hang. Keep that hip centered. And hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up nice and slow. Good. And bring those hands down. All right. So we're going to go into a bit of a, a, a wide squat here. So we're going to bend the knees and come down the center. Now my legs are nice and wide. And we're just going to stretch. So you're going to push those knees. They're going to go in line with the feet. Okay. They're not going to fold in. Okay. So keep them pushing out towards the, the, in line with the, with the feet. Okay. And straighten up. And you can use your hands on your knees to kind of support you, but keep those shoulders nice and open. Okay, and lengthen up. Going one and up. Don't let that pelvis swivel back and forth. Okay, when we go down, don't let that hips push back and your body come forward. Okay, I want those hips centered over, like you're, gonna, you're coming up and down, slightly up and down a stick. Okay, that's pushed up against your back. So you're not changing the position of the shoulders and the pelvis. Ready. And one, push those knees out. 
two, keep the core nice and tight, ribs pulling down, shoulders open, chin level. Three, I know it sounds like a lot of talk, but if you get used to checking in with yourself, or you just keep hearing my voice for the rest of your life, <laughs> five. Okay, now I'm already feeling that my hips want to push back on this one. Okay, they're getting a bit tired, so I'm pulling my hips forward, shoulders open. Seven, keep that slide. It's actually quite nice if someone slightly stands behind you and keeping that pressure of the chest back and the pelvis forward so that you maintain that upright position. Last one, I'm actually going to do that check in with myself. Eight, stay down in that position. Okay, and we're going to lift that right heel and down, left heel and down. Now, I'm not lifting with my whole upper body. Ooh, I can feel this work. I'm going to just take my socks off. Because I clang. Alright, no clang allowed here. So I've got my legs slightly 10 centimeters outside of the, the mat. Bending the knees out. Pressing the knees back so they're in line with the feet. And right heel up, left heel up. Right heel, left heel. Are you ready? Make sure that your upper body stays nice and strong. Again, don't lean forward. Keep those hips forward and centered over the pelvis with the upper body. Okay, here we go. Right, left, two, and down. This is intense work on the legs. Three, and down. Four, to the left. Five, left. Six, watch that upper body. Watch the shoulders. Seven, and eight. Good, and release. Push those hips back now. Turn those toes forward, and roll down. And hang. Walk the hands forward slightly, going onto your toes. Mm. Good. Walk the hands back, bend at the knees and curl up. Okay, we're doing three sets of those beasts. <coughs> so, turn your toes out again, bend at the knees. Don't fast forward this, hey? Stay with me. Even if you do four. Okay, we're working towards a, a good <laughs> a good posture this summer. All right, I've got my hands on my hips to, to support and to make sure that I don't swivel in back and push my, head, my chest forward. Okay, so stay centered. Sink in nice and deep, as deep as you find possible. Shoulders open, chin tucked in. Ready? Tummy tuck, glutes tight. Right side, down. Left side, down. Right and left. Number three. Three and we can be sumo wrestlers after this. Four. If you find there's too much angle, bring the foot in a bit. Five to the left. Six. Woo wee. Tired legs. Seven. Keep those knees pressing out and the hips forward. Eight. Oh. Turn those toes forward. Push those hips back. Roll down and hang. Ugh. Walk the hands forward, relax the head and shoulders. Alright, walk those hands back, bend at the knees and curl up. Okay, we got one more set. Whew. Right, turn those toes out. Going to feel this. <sighs> Sink into it. Make sure that your knees aren't over your feet, so don't do this, okay? We want to parallel. So that the knees don't take strain. Keep the knees pressing out. Push those hips forward. Shoulders open. Chin level. Now I've got my hands and my hips. Ready for round three. Here we go. Sumo. One. And change. Number two. Right foot. Left heel. Three. Left heel. Four. Left heel. Five. Left. Tummy in. Shoulders back. Seven, oh we. Last one, eight, who thought we'd make it? Toes forward, roll the hips back, drop the head and shoulders and hang. Four. Walk the hands forward. Swing those hips side to side, stretch it out. Walk the hands back, bend at the knees and curl up. And shake out those legs. Okay, so you'll feel 
that that's quite a lot of intense work, mostly on the big toes, okay, of really holding this, the, the structure there, they're really good for the feet. We're going to loosen up those hips, so we're going to do our normal toe to toe, heel to heel, nice and loose, step in with the toe, step in with the toe, step out with the heel, heel, toe to toe, heel to heel, toe to toe, da 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 good, couple more, and shake it out. All right, swing that right foot behind you and just stretch that knee down. Again, you can hold on to something if you need to. If you can't reach that foot, then just uh, use a towel or a stretchy just to get a stretch on the front of the leg and then change. <laughs> I've got a little bird feeder outside, which all the little sparrows and that feed off. And there's two pigeons that have moved into the neighborhood, and one's really fat and plucky, and she just landed on the bird feeder and went for a rock and roll, and all the food fell out. <laughs> That'll teach her. Okay. All right, we're going to stretch uh, the back of the legs now, so I want to go into a nice forward uh, lunge, okay? And we're going to push back on that left leg. So I've got my right leg lunging forward, and my left leg's extended behind me, and I'm pushing away on that heel. Okay, I'm going to take it to the side for you so you can see. Okay, right leg's forward, left leg's back. And make sure that your right knee doesn't go over the foot, okay? Keep it back. Okay, and press back on that left leg. Clomp. Okay, and then what you'll find when you forward lunge with that right leg is that that right hip wants to come forward and that right shoulder. So you want to get as lined as possible. So really pull back on that right hip and get that shoulder square so that we are, we are facing forward and we're not tilted. Okay, and then you can really feel that work in that glute. Take the arms out sideways, uh, out forward. <coughs> Keep some tension on the tummy muscles so that you're supporting the lower back. Taking the arms open wide. This is all about balance and control. Arms overhead. Keep them, watch that right shoulder not coming forward. And take the arms forward. And two. Overhead. And forward. Three. Overhead. And forward. Watch this knees not dancing. Four. Tummy muscles in, shoulders down. And forward. Five. Press that heel away on the left leg and forward, six, overhead, and seven, reach overhead, scoop the tummy, pull that right hip back, last one, eight, overhead, and forward, now roll the body forward to the inside of that right leg, and drop that heel, that hip down, and we're going to just bounce it there a few times, bouncing it forward, and watch this knee isn't over the foot, Good, and we're going to lunge out of that. Oh, I'm such a pain in the... Oh, your mother. Remember that? Ask your mother for sixpence. Very English. My Afrikaans friends will have no idea what that was about. No worries. <coughs> okay, we are going on to the left leg. What happened today? First session of the month. I'm a very tired tummy. Okay, left lunge forward. Getting that right leg back. You'll notice that you can see a bit of a space between my legs. Okay, I'm not. That's going to make it very hard to balance. I've got it. I've actually got them hip width apart. So I've got a little bit of structure there to, to maintain balance. My left leg is forward now. My knee is behind my foot. Okay, and my right heel is pressing away. If I bring my arms up, I can see that my left shoulder is forward and my hip, right hip is back. So I'm going to pull that back, get into alignment. You'll feel the tension on your lower back as you pull that hip back. That's why we're going to keep the tummy muscles nice and tight to support, okay? Support that lower back. The tighter the core, the more supported the spine. Okay. Shoulders down, chin down. Lunge as much as you can. Push back on that right heel. And we're going overhead, out, did we go the other way first, okay we did, open out sideways, overhead, and forward, there's no importance which way we go, two, reach, and forward, tummy muscles in, hip back, three, overhead, and forward, shoulders down, 
four, and forward, five, forward, don't lean back with those shoulders, and forward, seven, reach, four, last one, eight, overhead, forward, and push forward, down inside that left knee, and drop that hip, and we're going to pulse it a bit. Pulsing, pulsing. Good. Lunge up and curl up and shake it out. Wow. Okay, so I think those legs have worked hard enough. What do you think? I think we need to do some spine releasing. So I'm going to go ahead and lie on the ground. I'm going to bring my camera down a bit so that we can focus on the movement down here. Good. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Legs outstretched in front of you, toes pointed, arms outstretched. That shoulder width height. Lengthen up that spine, get that chin tucked in. We're going to roll down and roll up. We're going to do three roll ups, okay? So flexing the feet to roll down, curling down, arms overhead, pointing the toes. Breathe in, arms to the ceiling. Follow those hands. Ooh, the first one's tough after all that work on the lower back. Stretch to the toes. Hold that stretch wherever you can. If it's holding onto knees, calves, ankles, or heels, keep that chin tucked in. Just hold that stretch for mo. You want that lower back to release. Breathe nice and deep. And curling up. When you curl up, make sure your shoulders aren't hunched up, nice and open, flexing the feet. Lengthen up that spine, drop the chin down slightly, breathe in, and curl down, arms overhead. And I'm going to go to the side. Arms overhead, toes pointed. Feet, watch that the knees haven't turned out, that they're facing the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, follow those fingers forward towards the toes. Get the chin tucked in and reach for the toes and hold that stretch. And we're going to do one more. Lengthen up the spine, pull the toes back, get nice and tall, scoop the tummy, shoulders open and back, and tuck under, curling, rolling that vertebra down onto the ground, arms overhead. Good. Bring the arms forward now. Bring the knees up to the chest and gently pull the knees to the chest, keeping the chin tucked in. One, two, three, four, so let's do eight, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Arms up to the ceiling and we're going to go into your back position. And all we're going to do here is imprint. So Arms up to the ceiling, legs in perfect back. Press the spine down into the mat and release it. Down and release. Now, I'm not pulling my knees back to get that imprint. Okay, my knees are staying in back. I'm scooping in the tummy and I'm pushing the belly against the ground. Okay, breathe in, press on the out breath. Release, press. It's a small movement. Release and press. We're going to do 24 of these. So... Make sure that your shoulders are open, long back of the neck. Men that have issues with the neck, you can put a cushion over, but a very low cushion, just to keep the long back of the neck so that your, your neck isn't shortened. Alright, ready? Breathe in. And breathing in means relaxing the stomach, filling it up with air. Exhaling, press that lower back down. Release, breathing in. And two. Release. Three. Release. Four. Release. Five, six. Make sure that the legs and the shoulders don't move. <sighs> Pull those ribs in and down. Seven and eight. We're going to release. After each one, I'm going to open my knees up. It's more comfortable for me. And I'm going to rock side to side. Good. Back into your bike position. Ready? Breathe in and press. Breathe in. Press three, four, five. Watch that that chin doesn't lift. Six, seven, 
not a spectator sport. Eight. And release. Rock side to side. Relax your breathing. Relax the muscles. And last set. Shoulders down, away from the ears, chin tucked in, legs in perfect bag. Relax the tummy muscles, breathe in, and press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And straighten up the legs. Bring the arms forward, hold the legs and gently pull them straight leg towards you. Okay, and pressing one, rock them forward. Two, keeping the head and shoulders up. Three, don't rock the head and shoulders off and towards the ground, it's just the hips. Five, six, nice release on the spine. Seven, and eight and rock up nicely done okay <coughs> excuse me it sounds it sounds healthy doesn't it all right so we're gonna go my favorite exercise which is really about the hip flexors okay it's not my favorite exercise <laughs> not my favorite exercise okay you can go ahead and drop your hands behind you so that you can lean on them because I'm not a complete monster really and your legs are outstretched you're gonna bring that right leg off the ground lifting and lowering lifting and lowering now I'm not dropping my whole I'm not flexing my spine to do that okay I've got it nice and stable I'm lifting from the leg not from the pelvis tilting. Ready? And one and down. Two, three, four. Chin tucked in. Five, six. Even if it's just one centimeter off the ground, even if it's just to there, that's fine. And eight. I'm going to go on to the left leg. This is going to make it easier to do the whole section. One and down. Tummy in. Two. Chin down. Three. Watch if that right leg doesn't move. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And release. Going back to the right leg. We're going to take the leg off the ground. Turn the knee out. Swing it open. Pull it back. Turn the knee in. Okay. I'm not going to take it down to the ground in between, <laughs> unfortunately. Turn the knee out, swing and back. Two and back. Watch that upper body. Three and rotate that knee. Four and rotate. Five and rotate. Six. Lengthen up that spine. Seven and eight. And release. Good job. All right, going on to the other side, you're going to get that left leg off the ground, turn that knee out, swing it open, bring it back, turn the knee in. Okay? One, turn out, rotate, turn in. Two, open and back. Three, open and back. Four, five, whew, six, seven, and eight and release and come off those arms for a sec and shake out those legs okay this is all about the hip flexor and the quadriceps it's gonna feel it okay that's the idea <laughs> we've got one more rotation one more well two more sets to do <clears throat> okay these are really gonna help your stabilizing and your balance so everything I do is is good for you <laughs> even if it feels mildly uncomfortable while we're doing it. All right, so for the next one, your body is going to want to fall back to allow for the movement. So try and keep your, arm, your, your shoulders braced, keeping a, a certain length on the spine and keep your chin tucked in. 
you're going to slide that right heel towards you, lift the leg off the ground, okay, and then you're going to extend the leg, bend, straighten it out above the ground, okay, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Now, before we go into that, uh, obviously this is a very tight exercise for, all, for most of you, some of you will be able to do it uh, quite easily, but most of us can't. So I don't mind how high that leg goes. You can pull that heel back and you might only be doing that and straightening. Okay, you might only just be getting above the other foot. That's fine. Just do where you can. We're only doing eight. <clears throat> okay, brace those shoulders. Drop that chin, scoop in that tummy muscle. Are you ready? Lift that right leg up, bend, extend, bend, straighten. Two, lengthen and extend. Three, up, bend, drop. Four, up, brace those shoulders. Body wants to fall back. Six, extend and extend. Seven, I've got a cramp going in my foot. Last one, eight, and release. The arch, really great work for this arch. <laughs> Okay, you're going to come out of it for a second. Just straighten those arms, shrug those shoulders, release the leg muscles. I know this one's really awful. I know it's tough. I, um, <clears throat> when, the first time I did it, um, months and months ago, it's, um, it was very uncomfortable. It's got so much easier now. You know, the more you do something, the better you get at it, right? So let's brace those shoulders, drop that chin, scoop in the tummy muscles, take the left leg off the ground, bend, Lengthen from the knee, bend, straighten towards the ground. Bend and extend, bend and straighten. Three, stretch, all that, that arch. Lengthen up that spine and extend. Six, extend from the knee. Ooh. Seven, almost there. Last one, eight, and release. And shake it out. Whew. And find a happy place. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> the happy place is not the kitchen right now. <coughs> Alright, we've got one more to do. One more to do. I'm a pain in my butt. I've got gluteus maximus discomforts. And the arch of my feet. We can do this. Okay, so I'm going to brace my arms behind me again. Pull my shoulders back. Drop my chin down. Lengthen up my legs. Okay, so now we're going to take that right leg off the ground and we're going to do a leg circle. So we're going to go eight. Are you ready? So just a leg circle. Watch that the upper body is not doing the circling. Okay, nothing from the upper body. You can just stay tight. If you want to take that left leg out slightly, you can just to give a bit of balance as you go out that way. So you've got a little bit more pelvic strength. Ready? There we go. Chin down, shoulders strong, arms strong, tummy in. And right leg off the ground, circling. One. Watch if that left leg isn't rotating all over the place. Three. Pull it up. Four. Brace those shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Watch that left leg. Eight. And of course you know we're changing direction. Let's go. One. Two. Ooh, quadriceps. Three. Four. Try not to lean back too much. Five. Six, don't turn that knee out. Seven, <laughs> and eight. Woo! That leg put on about 40 kgs in that exercise. <coughs> All right, let's go on to the other leg. Ah, this is the last one, everybody. I okay, guess this is the last one of the series. So you're almost there. Stick with me. Okay, we're going to do an arm release after this because my elbows are feeling it. Lengthen up that spine, drop that chin in, scoop in the tummy muscles, get that left stubborn leg off the ground, and push your bum down, because that helps the lat in the leg. So really push your glutes into the ground, give yourself stability there. Tighten the core. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, and eight. Yes, we're changing direction. Let's go. One. Chins down. Two. Don't let that right leg swivel around. Three. Keep the knee turned in on the left. Four. Five. Almost there. Shaky legs. Six. Seven. And 
eight, oh, and release. Drop onto the ground there. All right, we're going to release that leg, so lie on your back, arms out, stretch sideways, feet together, and drop that knees over to the right, turn the head to the left, relax the body. Okay, and over to the other side. Drop the knees over to the right, head to the left. Get that nice stretch. Relax the body. Okay, we're going to stretch out the quads. So put that right foot on the left knee. Drop the right knee out. And we're going to take it over to the right. Stretching nice on the left leg. Dropping the whole, both legs over to the right. Up we go. Take that left foot, put on the right knee. And drop the legs over to the left. Good. And back to center. Extend at the right leg. Slide the arms up. Pull that leg towards you. Keep the left leg bent. Lift the head and shoulders. Round the back as much as you can. Push the hips down and stretch towards that right foot. Get a nice extension through the back of the leg. And change legs. Drop that left, right leg down. <coughs> Lift the left leg. Push the hips down. Bring the upper body up. Stretch towards that foot. And release. Nicely done. All right. So I'm feeling like my shoulders have worked, my legs have worked, but my stomach muscles haven't really done a lot. So we're going to go into my favorite position, which is your bike position with the knees open. Dropping those knees open as much as you can and bring the hands inside of the knees. And we're going to crunch inside. I haven't done this one for a week or two. Three sets of eight. Lower back, press that belly in, getting that nice press against the floor with the belly button. Shoulders open, thumbs turned out. Ready? Push those feet together and crunch. One and down. Using the shoulder blades to roll off, not lifting the head and shoulder, the head, the forehead first. Three, four, tummy pushing in. Five, don't move the knees. Six, keep them stable. Seven, and eight. Knees together, feet together, arms overhead, knees to the chest. Relax the body. And open the knees, bring the arms forward, ready for the second set. Here we go. One, press those toes together. Two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, and eight. Woo, knees together to the chest, arms overhead, relax. <clears throat> Last set. We're going to do running like a ball after this to release that lower back. Ready and one. Push that belly in. Two, three, four. Push those knees forward. Five, six, ooh, tummy, seven, and eight. And bring those hands under the knees. Ready for running like a ball. Rolling. Let's do eight. One, two. Keep that chin tucked in, shoulders open. Three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely stuff. And eight. Good. And onto your back again. Okay. We've got one more round of stomach muscles. 
just because we can. You can put your hand under your head, hands under your head if you want to. And you bring that right, that left leg in, and you're going to drop that right leg down to the ground. Okay? And we're going to swivel off the left shoulder and bring the right elbow to the knee. But the knee's not going to go anywhere. We're just crunching to touch as much as we can. And down to the ground, elbows open. Head looking towards the ceiling. Okay? There's no swiveling of the hip side to side. It's literally just a cross stretch of the upper body. And down. Ready. One, tap. And down. Two, turn that head. Left elbow stays on the ground, almost three. Four. And down. Five. Six. Keep pulling that right, that left knee to the chest. Seven. And eight. Relax the body. Drop that knee. And you're going to swing that knee side to side if you like. Uh, all right. Second set. Are you ready? Same leg. Up we go. One. And open those elbows. Two. Open. Three. Four, contract those tummy muscles as you come up. Five, six, try and focus on that, the stomach pulling you across rather than the elbow. And last one, eight, release, relax the body. Shake those hips side to side. Okay, we've got one more set on the left. Right arm coming up. Make sure that right knee hasn't fallen out to the side. Ready? And one. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And release. Woo. Uh, I'm going to swing on to my other side here. <laughs> oh. Nice one. Okay. So, now we're going to bring that right knee up. Open up the elbows. Head un uh, hands under the head. And we're going to pull that left elbow up to the right knee. Ready. And one. If it's easier, I'm a bit tight. Two, and down. Three. Exhale, breathe in. Five. Six. Seven. Oof. And eight. Release. Drop that knee down and swing side to side. All right. Second set. Here we go. Knee up. Pulling that elbow across. One. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Ah, tummy. Swing that side to side. Okay. Last set. And we'll get some relief after this. Are you ready? Get that knee up. Elbows open. Bring that left leg, left elbow across to the right knee. One. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Oh, and arms overhead. Relax the legs. Oh, even my arms are tired. Shake it out. Good job. Ah, ah, we're going to stretch those tummy muscles out now. We've worked them hard. <coughs> so you can go ahead and lie on your tummy for me. Head on the hands. Legs hip width apart parallel. And go ahead and pull those shoulders back for me. Lengthen the neck. And we're going to come up and lower down. Okay. Most importantly, keep those shoulders back. 
tummy muscles in, legs stretching away. Keep those feet on the ground all the way through the exercise. Okay, ready? Long back of the neck, lifting from the chest, shoulders pulling down and back, and down. Two, scooping those tummy muscles, pull them in, and down. Three, four, five, my dog is crying. Six, seven, and eight. Drop those hands down, come up onto the elbows, and drop the head down. And we'll just do some nice neck circles from here. Okay, so ear to the shoulder, chin to the chest, ear to the shoulder, and lift. Change direction, and up. And round one more time. Good. And go ahead into a shell stretch for me. Phew, we haven't stopped today, hey? <sighs> Alright, we're going to do a side stretch. So Anna, you can sit like this and you're going to stretch over like that. Okay, if your knees don't want to do that, you can just get into a point where you're lying with them slightly flexed um, and reaching over. The rest of us, we're going to go onto our knees, uh, drop onto the left hand, stretch the right leg out and reach across. <whistles> I've got a caged outside of me. Stretch and down and we're going to go onto the other side. Left leg out, drop onto the right arm and stretch across. Good. And then forward and go back into your shell stretch for me. I'm going to just move my camera up a bit. There we go. It's good. Alright, so we're almost done. But I want to go into a couple of our push-ups. So if you can go onto your hands and knees. We're going to go into, into push-up position, into our shell stretch, um, curling up. Curling down to dog stretch, push up position, so I said shell stretch, I mean dog stretch, and curling up. So onto the hands and knees, slide your legs out into your push up position. You're going to breathe in, press your hips up to the ceiling, push your shoulders under your arms, keep the heels pressed down. Okay, then you're going to walk your hands back, curling up, arms overhead, breathe in, roll forward. Walk the hands forward into your dog stretch. Drop the chin in. Push from the shoulders. And drop the hips down into your push up position. That's one. Go for number two. Up into your dog stretch. Press those heels down. Walk the hands back. Swivel into the heels. Curling up. Arms overhead. Deep breath in. Roll forward. Walk the hands forward into your dog stretch. Keep your ears tucked in next to your arms. Swivel the hips down, move the hands if you need to adjust into your push up position. That's two. Ready? Up into your dog stretch. Scooping those tummy muscles. Walk the hands back. Rolling up, arms overhead. Forward. Last one. Walk the hands forward into your dog stretch. Swivel the hips down into your push up position. That's three. Drop down into the knees into a shell stretch. Bring the arms behind you to release the shoulders. Relax the body. Nicely done. Going back up into your dog stretch and up into your upright position. Okay, let's just release those shoulders, jiggle them up and down, jiggle the knees. Take the right arm out, stretch, pull the fingers back and gently press 
the fingers underneath the body, underneath the arms, stretching the wrists. Other side, left side, and circle those wrists. Breathe in, arms overhead. Oh, that feels good. Right stretch, left stretch, right stretch, left stretch. One more, right, left. Just put those hands behind your head and then gently swing side to side. Feel how nice and supple and loose that body is. Excellent stuff. Arms down. And we're going to swing. <laughs> That's swing time, Anna. Good job. Breathe in. And release forward. And two. Let's do five. Three. Four. Oh, that feels great. Five. And release down. Ah. Oh, good job, everybody. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. That was tough. <laughs> that was a workout. But it's good to mix them up a bit. I do feel very nice and loose around my, my lower back, my hips, uh, my shoulders. I feel great. I hope you feel great. And I hope you got through it. I hope you stuck with me right through to the end. If you didn't, go on back and try again. <laughs> and keep working at it. All right, WhatsApp me if you have any issues with your body, if you need any one-on-one -on -one, um, help with any exercise, if you're struggling with something and you don't understand, please, 073-710-6266, WhatsApp me, okay? I'm always here, available and willing and wanting to help you find the best um, health and vigor in your body. So whether it's dietary or anything, I'm here. Ask me. If I don't know, I will find out. Okay. Best thing for me is to know that you are well and healthy and that your range of movement is fantastic. All right, guys. Love you lots. Miss you very much. And um, I'll see you on Friday. Take care and have a good, great, fantastic, amazing, absolutely brilliant day. Bye.